gentlemen, welcome back to Team FCB, the UEFA Women Champions League return. And these are the players to watch out for in 2021-22 season. So today I'm going to be doing a slightly different video. I will be looking at 16 different players that I think are worth watching out for in this year's Women Champions League from each participating team. This is content that I have not done before so let me know what you thought in the comment down below and whether you would like to see content like this more in the future. Moving on, this is a revolutionized Women's Champions League season new format and free access to all 61 live matches from youtube i'm gonna be doing this probably for barcelona feminine big games looking at players beforehand some players who you obviously want to watch and some players who aren't so obvious maybe these players have a point to prove or they are looking to continue some form maybe they want to be selected and hopefully they are in the team but today we've picked out the stuff from each of the 16 teams who could shine in the group stage from some of the game's biggest established stars as well as several freshly produced talents who will be on show when the new uefa women champions league kicks off on 5th and 6th of august so let's kick things off with group a first up is ferran kb of chelsea last season they reached their first european final and swept all the possible trophies they could get their hands on in england spearheaded by a dream attacking trio of kirby sam and Panilla Harder. Well, the other two were high profile signing in 2020, but KB's 2015 edition really signaled Chelsea arrival on the top stage. And the goals and assists have continued to flow from unstoppable and speedy attacker. Her form last time was even more special as it came on a return from a long absence due to illness. So her Champions League career stats stands at 17 goals in 29 matches, all coming while well representing Chelsea. The second player that I'm going to be profiling in Group A is Wolfsburg Savenia Hood, a winner with Frankfurt in 2015, as well as multiple honors for Germany. The winger joined Wolfsburg from Potsdam in 2019. Her pace and creativity means she usually features in high assist counts and has proved to be dependable in attack in a period when Wolfsburg have had more than their fair share of injuries. She has made 31 appearances in the Champions League while also scoring one goal in the process. Our third player in Group A is Sarah Gamo. The Juve captain begins the campaign with the dream of lifting the trophy at her club's men's home stadium next May. Gamo was a key signing when the Turin team entered women's football in 2017. This commanding characteristic and experienced centre-back also kept them a country, having played for Italy since 2006 and last year she became the first female vice president of the Italian Footballers Association, one of the many ways she has blazed a trail on and off the pitch. Her record in the Women's Champions League stands at 20 games and one goal while representing the likes of PSG, Beresia and Juventus. To conclude Group A is Sandy Mendley, her club servet a relatively new name in Europe making the UEFA debut last season and then clinching their first league title. Geneva born Swiss international Mendley actually began a career between 2000 and 2006 with Chenoa who became Servet in 2017. The following year she rejoined them a few months before they were promoted to the top flight. Her experience is invaluable as she was a European quarter finalist with Italy Torres a decade ago. It was the local heroes whose goal at Glasgow City that clinched a spot in the group stage. Moving on to group B and first up is none other than Paris Saint-Germain, Marie Antoinette Catoto. She has been at Paris since the age of 12. A decade later, she is one of the most feared forwards in world football. Speedy, strong and deadly in front of goal. She has compiled a consistent goal scoring record in Europe and also struck in the 1-0 league defeat of Lyon last November that signaled that Paris were finally able to eclipse their rivals both at home and in UEFA competition. She has also made 21 appearances in the Champions League, scoring 14 goals in the process. Next up is Brenda Blick midfielder Maria. At the age of 15, she made an Icelandic top-level debut with Vela. After a spell with Sternan, which included a UEFA competition debut, she returned to her very first club, Brenda Blick, in 2018. She has played a crucial role in their success since not least getting to this historic group stage as the first Icelandic club male or female to achieve such feats and consistently she is the player that makes them tick as well as scoring a fair share of goals. Next up is Real Madrid defender Kenty Robles. In the first season after becoming Real Madrid, the club finished second in Spain, ending this European debut in which they have already beaten Man City to the group stage. Mexico right back Robles has been the key figure, not just defensively and rounding down the wing, but scoring the late first equalizer to keep Madrid alive in the tie. It was a second European goal. The first was also late home equalizer against City for former club Atletico in the similarly impressive round of 32 success two years ago. Her cross City switch in 2020 proved pivotal to the rebranded CD Tacon flourishing in the new image. 
Lastly in group B is the arena Apanashenko of KQ who are a new name among the last 16 of UEFA Women's Club competition under any format. But in Apanashenko they have somebody who is hardly a rookie. Next up to group C is Barcelona Femini Alexia Puteas. A left-sided midfielder blessed with creativity, athleticism and an eye for goal. Puteya sealed her reputation in 2021 when she lifted UEFA Women's Champions League trophy as Barcelona captain and was honored as UEFA Women's Player of the Year as well as UEFA Women's Midfielder of the Season. She goes into the group stage having signed a new long-term contract and hoping to lift the trophy yet again this season. Another high profile from this group is Arsenal Vivian fresh from a record-breaking 12 Olympic goals for the Netherlands. She scored a hat-trick in Arsenal round 2 second leg against Slavia Prague to move to 100 goals in, in under 10 four appearances for the Gunners. The week before she had moved past 20 goals in Europe from just 15 UEFA club competition outings. Raw numbers tell part of the story of the player with, with more than 300 competitive goals to her name at the age of 25. However, the spirit of the Dutch women's Euro 2017 Trump also makes goals and can destroy opponent with uh, athleticism and dynamism. Arsenal's path to possible second European title 15 years after the first goes through Vivian. Next up is Offenheim Nicole Biller. The Australian forward moved to Offenheim in 2015 when they were newly established in the Bundesliga. But last season they finished among the top three for a second straight year, booking a European debut under a new format. Biller was a central to that as well. Having backed 18 league goals in 2019-20, she managed 23 in 21 Bundesliga games last term. Six more than any other player and was also voted league player of the year. She is able to score variety of goals and seems a nightmare to mark. Next up is Mary Pogni. She left Chicago Red Stars for US linked HP Koji in 2020 and became a vital component firstly in their promotion and then in the club single Danish title which broke the two decade dominance of Bronby and Fortune Joring. Pokni created goals in both legs of the tie against Sparta Prague that earned the European debutant a group but the versatile attacker can also operate in midfield. Moving on to group D is Saki. Last season marked the breakthrough for Bayern as they took the German title from Wolfsburg and got to the UEFA Women's Champions League semis. But there is still a step to take. The summer arrival of Seki from Lyon may help them take it. The Japan captain has slotted winning penalties in both FIFA Women's World Cup and Women's Champions League finals, having won it five times in a row with Olympic Lyon. Although better known as a midfielder, she has also shown that she can play in the central defense.